In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the Kechi Air Kendama, which is made by Kechi Kendamas. And right off the bat, you'll notice that it is a plastic and rubber hybrid Kendama. And it's actually the world's first plastic rubber hybrid, which is pretty cool. And because it is plastic, we do get a lot of questions um, asking, can it do all the tricks? And yes, it can do all the tricks. Um, you'll notice that the rubber rings um, are in each cup, which allows for more grip. And you'll see uh, that there's actually a slight raise on the rubber rings that allow the uh, Tama to contact the rubber and not the plastic, which not only allows a lot of grip, but it also prevents the loud clanking noise from plastic hitting plastic, which is really nice. Uh, you'll also notice uh, that the base cup is slightly larger than a standard uh, Kendama, and that allows you to balance the popular lighthouse trick a lot easier, and it also makes learning some of the basic tricks a little bit easier as well. And moving up to Kendama, you'll see that the uh, tip, because it's plastic, it's not going to dull or break, um, which is really nice because a lot of wooden Kendamas, after some heavy wear and tear, will actually dull down, making it really hard to even spike the Kendama. And since this will stay um, almost brand new the whole time you play with it, it allows you to constantly spike and impress all your friends. Um, because it is plastic, uh, you also will notice that you can play with it outside in the sand and the water, which has been really nice because our kendamas haven't been getting dirty or breaking at all. Um, and you'll notice also with the ken um, that the uh, rings may sometimes come out, um, even though they do have a, um, an adhesive sealant underneath them after some wear and tear. Uh, they can pop out, and to solve that, you just need to do a little bit um, of super glue underneath and you'll solve that problem pretty easily. You'll also notice on the Serato that there is a uh, small plastic piece that is connecting the two. Um, and this is really nice because it allows to change the string out really easily without having to manage the two different pieces. And you can even uh, take out the red piece and you can slide the Serato off this way, um, which makes it really, really cool because if you have more than one, you can swap out the colors. Um, you'll also need to take this red piece in this case and put it on the other side if you're left-handed because you'll notice on this piece that there is a slight ridge right here and you want to make sure that the end of the string is um, touching that. That way when you're doing your tricks and the string is pulling against it, this ridge stops the piece from sliding out. Um, so if you do switch it to left-handed um, without swapping this, you'll find the problem of the red piece um, sliding out of the kendama and your tama will fly off and no one wants that. Uh, moving on to the tama, uh, we have gotten a couple emails. Uh, because this is two pieces, um, some people will take their kendamas over concrete or asphalt and slam it into the ground as hard as they can. And sometimes this causes the tama to split apart a little bit or even completely. Um, but however, uh, you can put them back together really easily. And if you do do it a lot, um, sometimes you may not be able to just snap it back together. So all you need to do, again, is get a little bit of super glue uh, right where the Tama meets, and that should solve that problem really easily. Um, so that is our review on the Ketchy Air, and now we're going to show you some of the uh, benefits of this through tricks, and also what tricks might be a little bit more difficult on this Kendama. As we mentioned earlier in the video, we get a lot of questions asking how the Ketchy Air performs. And the first thing to take note of is that both pieces are perfectly weighted, which makes tricks like swirl, spacewalk, and hand roll a lot easier to perform, which is also a really awesome thing. You'll also notice that there are rubberized grips on each of the cups, making it really easy to catch the different cups if you're just learning. Um, and it also has a bigger base cup, making it easier to catch the base if you're going to do some cool base cup tricks like that. And also makes more advanced tricks like Lighthouse a lot easier as well since it does provide a lot of grip due to the rubber and uh, the bigger base cup. And you can notice that um, you would think it would be a little off balance due to the big cup, but it's actually designed to be a really well balanced kendama. So even tricks like Lunar are pretty easy with it uh, with both the design of the Ken and the rubberized grip. Uh, one thing to note is that tricks such as Bird and Stilts where uh, you're balancing the kendama with the plastic touching the plastic are really difficult on this kendama unless you're extremely experienced in the specific trick that you want to try. Um, because it is plastic on plastic, it's pretty slippery, but with a little bit of practice, um, and once you start feeling master in that trick, the tricks can be performed. But all in all, 
Um, at such a low cost, this Kanama is a great piece to add to any collection uh, of Kanamas you already have since it's fun, such a fun and unique experience in the Kanama. And it's also a great Kanama to pick up if it is your first Kanama because it has so many great benefits to it, um, allowing you to progress through the beginning tricks a lot faster than a lot of normal Kanamas. But that is the Ketchy Air Kanama.